Oh. I've been saying that for, uh, I guess, a year now that he should be playing inside. So I'm really excited for him to be in there. Um, I'm really, I mean, it's just a disadvantage all around. I mean, like, I'm not the biggest guy in the world, but, I mean, he puts his arms on me, and I'm sitting there trying to wave at him, like, <laughs> come on, uh, get a little closer. But, uh, so, yeah, no, it's definitely a disadvantage, but uh, I'm excited to see what he's able to do against other guys. Um, not really been fun in practice, but it uh, should be fun for him on Saturdays. I know it's not a lot of good on good in the season, but when you do go good on good and you see Zach on the inside, then you go against a traditional defensive tackle. How much easier does that make your job, and, and how much do you have to change it up a little bit just to, to like, block yourself? Uh, not really. I think I take the same approach. I don't really th cater to certain people different ways. It's kind of my approach to the game. If I play my game right, if I use my technique, uh, everything will handle itself. So. Um, for me, it's just he's in there. I know that uh, it's going to be maybe got to use my feet a little more, just maybe cater little things. But I mean, I mean, for me, I try to take the same approach to every guy, and not try to. That's when you start overthinking and you um, get paralysis by analysis. Luke, with the, the way you guys are running the ball right now, it just seems like, especially in those zone schemes, you guys are really clean with the combos and getting up to the second level. Like, does that? Does it feel as clean as it's been since you've been here? And what would you attribute that to? Yeah, I think uh, we've been doing a great job running the ball. I think um, that's something this season we came into and we know we needed to improve on. And um, like we talked earlier in camp and stuff, um, that kind of had a chip on our shoulder about um, how people were kind of knocking our offensive line last season. And um, for us, it's something that um, we put the work into and we're happy to see kind of what has been paying off. And I mean, things have been going well. Like you said, we've been blocking things pretty cleanly, but as always, everything can always be better. Um, so it's us just looking at the little things to nitpick and get better at week in and week out. So that's the main thing at this point in the season is how can you improve and what can you improve? How much of that improvement would you say is just mindset? And, and how much would you say is technical things that you guys thought you had to get better at this year? Um, I think it's both. I think it's mindset. Um, I think it's the, the technical things that we could get better at. Um, I think Coach Fry's done a great job coming in and kind of teaching us new things that um, we've kind of took to heart and um, really improved on. So for us, I think it's a mixture of everything, and I think that shows in our play right now. Well, could you give an example of, of a new thing that he's kind of brought to the um, I mean, just some of the plays and some of the things that he's done technically. I don't want to give out too much sure. information, but uh, <laughs> um, just some of the things that he's able to uh, do with us and that um, are new and that we kind of bought into and have really been um, excelling at. The chip is not you had it. The, the chip you had on your shoulder, did that make you, I don't know if you can speak for the whole group, but for yourself, make you more receptive to anything he was bringing to the table, new techniques, that sort of thing? Yeah, I think, um, I mean, everything that he's been bringing to the table, I think we've kind of bit into. I think for us, um, everyone knew that we had to get better, and uh, we didn't want to be a liability on this team. We wanted to make this team run and um, make this team efficient. So for us, it's just everything that he's brought, we've really taken a big bite into and um, really trying to improve on every day. So I think for us, um, yeah, I mean, I don't think there wasn't really um, the chip on our shoulder kind of led to it, but having a new voice is always good. So um, for us, we're kind of just biting into what he's bringing to the table. Uh, Paris is not around sack two years in 2020. It's a long plan. You know, haven't uh, gotten a line that you can just rely on. Yeah, it's been nice. Um, I think like he's been uh, a great moving out the left tackle now. and. Um, for us, it's just, uh, I know, at least for CJ, like having someone um, protecting your blind side is probably a nice thing to have. You don't ever got to worry about getting hit in the back of the head. So, yeah. Luca, you were at the game at Michigan State a couple years ago. Just what do you remember about what that game, what that week was like? Uh, yeah, I mean, um, I mean, that was during COVID, so it was a lot different. Um, I'm going to be excited to play in front of fans there for the first time. Uh, and last time we were there, I don't think there was anybody actually there. So uh, I don't have great memories there um, from that year, but uh, um, I do remember some things just uh, kind of going back and it's gonna be fun to play in a hostile environment. I think I'm pretty excited for that, the first one of the year, um, and kind of be like the bad guy in the arena. It's always nice to kind of be the villain. Are you able to draw from that experience of playing there even though it wasn't with fans? Uh, not really. I think that the fans bring a whole different aspect to the game. Um, I mean, <laughs> I guess I'll know what hotel we're staying at. I mean, besides that, yeah. Um, there really isn't much that I could take from that first experience. Every road game's the same almost. You're your enemy in enemy territory. So um, you kind of got to buckle in. Like Coach Mick says, the biggest thing on the road, you got to run the ball, stop the run, and play with toughness. So that's the goal. You said you don't have great memories from there. Is there a reason why you don't? Yeah, uh, I scored, um, but not for our team. Um, so, yeah, no, uh, not, not the greatest of memories, but uh, definitely something that won't happen again. I don't remember.
No, I uh, snapped it over uh, Jack Miller's head and it rolled, yeah, oh, like yeah. 30 yards okay. right. for safety. So, yeah, not, not, not the greatest of memories. Yeah. Do you remember that Ryan Day was not your coach that day? Yes, yeah, Coach Johnson was. Yeah, I do remember. Yep, yeah. So a lot of things are different now going back there, to say the least. Luke, when you get ready to study this game and you've watched, watched film this week, this is a team that you know is talented. And you know that the, the personnel there is 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 high level personnel. Very, yes. But the results on the field haven't shown that so far. They've they've struggled quite a bit on both sides lately. When you watch their defense, how are you processing that? Knowing the individuals are very talented, but the the, the overall product hasn't worked out the way they were hoping it would. Um, I mean, for them, I think they they've had a lot of transfers and a lot of great players coming in there yeah. in the past year. So. Um, when you watch the film, you put on tape and you can see some really great plays and then some plays that maybe didn't go their way. So um, I, I try to approach it like every team um, is, I don't know, the 85 Bears. I mean, that's kind of my mindset is trying to build them up to be something really great. So when you step on the field and maybe it isn't that way or some things are even better, some teams are even better, that uh, you're prepared for everything. So for me, um, it doesn't really, like, I look at the film and like maybe something didn't go the way. Oh, that guy just hit a gap. But what if he hits that gap when they play us? So um, it's just preparing. Um, like I said, like everyone's the 85 Bears. You got to make sure everyone is the best player you've ever played. That's kind of how I take on this game and how I prepare. Luke, you say it's nice to be the villain. What kind of villain are you? Um, oh, that's a good question. Um, I guess the Joker. I just saw that movie pretty recently. <laughs> so I think that's a pretty good one. I think he's very... Um, First off, I mean, he's very intelligent and uh, really does have a set of a good plan. So I think that's a, that's a pretty good villain. Luke, just, you know, Coach Day was saying yesterday that when you guys go on the road, he feels like you're going to learn something about your team. What do you think are the things that you guys are going to learn about your team from this road trip? Um, I think you're just going to see this team come together. I think uh, when every time you go away, it's kind of a cool experience. You're really just all together. Um, and you're on a plane, you're on buses. I think it's kind of like a building experience. And um, for us, I think we're all embracing this first opportunity to go out and go into someone else's stadium and beat them in their own house. So for us, um, it's just that experience and all playing together and um, trying to be the best version of the Buckeyes on Saturday. When you look back Last on the, the transition between with, with Coach Fry coming in, what do you think was the most important thing as far as building a connection with him? How did he do that with you? Um, I think that his approach, the way he coaches, his coaching style has been huge. I think he brings an individual tailor plan to every player. I don't think he just coaches the tackles the same way, coaches the guards or the centers all the same way. I think the way he coaches Paris, the way he coaches Dewan, to the way he coaches Matt, to myself, to Donnie, and then um, I think there's just a different tailored approach that's kind of cool that he brings, and he kind of knows specifically what you need to work on. He gives you a plan of how to work on it too, not just, oh, you're not doing this well fix it. It's like, oh, you're not doing this well. Here's what we need to do this week to make sure that on Saturday you improve that. And it's every week. What, what's one thing that you can pick out in your game to improve on? I think he's done that a great job at that in season. And you guys, you're saying, had that chip on your shoulder. Did you need some kind of sign from him that he had the same sense of urgency from day one? From um, day? Yeah, I think that he came in with the same sense of urgency. I mean, he, I mean, everyone reads the headlines. Everyone sees what was said. And um, for us, I mean, um, I still think about um, what was said at the Heisman ceremony last year. That, that runs through my mind at least once a year. And um, I can't wait to see Jays back there again this year and uh, what they're going to say now. So for us, it's always those little things that kind of play in our head and make us rebite and uh, make us focus on what's really important day in, day out.